All right. So you should have ended up with the, um, these two initial uh, drawings, diagrams that we have right here. Um, something that I probably we should have done, um, I'll, I'll, I'll undo. Hopefully, you're able to undo as well. Oh, let's see. What, what did I? Oh, okay. Undo. Right. I'm going to undo to this point right here. Um, when we do our make to d I think it would be a good idea to select that and make it a group for now. So that I can just type move and click anywhere, select it, and then move. Just make sure that it's on the on the right layer, right? So that that um, that should be on that um, cube layer. Okay, so we have these uh, these two drawings right here. Let's see. Let's go now to our um, did we not that we have uh, our sheet right here. I thought I had given this a, a, a name. Uh, let's say accent diagrams. So maybe we can make a copy of this right here. All right. And on one end, I'm going to put the right one. And on the other one, I'm going to put the uh, right one. And let's make them match the scale. So let's go ahead and set one to one. to one so that means that we'll have to readjust this probably something like that and at first hand, um, they might seem like they're the same drawing, but let's, let's look deeper, right? If I if I double click on this viewport to my right, you'll see that that line, for example, that line, uh, it doesn't go all around it, right? Where on this, let's take a look right here. If I double click, you see that in our group, right? You see how the line actually exists right, all around it versus again if i double click over here it only exists from well let me select it right select it it only exists from here to here to here and again there's no right or wrong necessarily <coughs> ah, excuse me there's no right or wrong necessarily um it's just what we need uh, at any given moment right it's, it's, it's what is it that we need in any given moment so I'm going to create uh, under my pens right here. I'm going to create a new layer. Or let's see. I can I can double. Um, I can copy. All right. I can I can copy um, a. Um, let's go with um, 0.8. All right, let's go. Well, let's see. I like to just just go with 0.5. We'll create actually a few um, duplicate layer. So I have a 0.5 pen, but here I'm gonna do a 0.5 dashed. And it has the same attributes as the 0.5, except that rather than being a continuous line, right here like this one, I'm going to make it a dash line. So I click where it says continuous, and this uh, dialog box should open. I'm going to make it a hidden line. Click OK. Notice that it now says hidden. OK. And then I'm going to go to let's see make to d there you go all right so 
neat little trick. If I wanted to select all of these green lines right here, um, but I want to select all of them in the entire drawing, just the ones on this viewport. So um, I can double click on, well, you don't even need to double click on the viewport, but if you go to your make 2D layer, every anytime that you make a make 2D uh, drawing, you'll generate this. Uh, you probably have not realized that it gives you those layers. Um, you go to your P4, um, P2, which is actually the, the pink in this case for me, or whatever layer you were using to generate that, that make 2D. And you turn it off. Notice that I can now double click in here and I can actually select all of this and shift, shift and reassign the layer with my newly created pen, right? Um, then there was select duplicate in the currency properties. There was like an apply to objects. Change object layer. There you go. Uh, I'll do that one more time right here. I select this group right here. And then right click on the layer. And then click right here where it says um, change object layer. Notice how it applied it to that those objects. So you can see the difference right here. And we can do the the opposite. And I can do the opposite right here. Um, I'm gonna make to D. Bring this line right here. Or I don't I don't necessarily need to um, um, turn it off, right? I can just like so. For example, um, oops. Where are my pants? Yeah. I can just either turn that off or lock this, and I'll just select this right here. And I can give all that a different layer, let's say the solid five. Change objects to layer. All right, and I can double click on this viewport over here. And notice that I can select it because it's locked, the dash, which is good because I only want to select this right here. And I can change it to that P5 continuous. All right, so we have um, this this version right here, this drawing. And notice that, um, well, some of the difference already um, evident right here um, because we have this this kind of like lines through the drawing, and this right here that they they can get a little bit confusing. To be honest with you. It can get a little bit um, confusing. So probably what's best is, and, but I wanted you guys to see that. And again, there's no right or wrong. Uh, it's always just a matter of what is it that we need. So probably I like to keep working with this one over here. Okay, so I'll do that. And I'm realizing that I can change these layers maybe a little bit. I'm gonna let's see how a P8 dash looks. So I'm gonna, again, duplicate this layer and then I'm gonna p8 dash and um, I'm gonna again but now in this case I'm going to uh, right I can turn on and off my p8 p5 dash um, I'm sorry my continuous five well, where is there? A... Huh. Okay, that's strange. I'm not sure why there's a drawing on top of a drawing. It's not good. Okay, um, come right here, and I'll turn that. That's an easy fix. I can just turn off that right there. Double click here. Uh, make sure that that dash is locked. I'm not really sure why that's there. I'm not really sure when I create an extra copy. And um, I'm just going to move it to the side for right now. And here, select. Set back my uh, scale. 
relocate this right here. Uh, go back to my layers, which by the way, I like to actually have my layers on this bottom tabs right here and my properties on the top. And okay, so there we go. So I want to make, I want to turn this dash now into uh, a point, uh, point eight dash. So I want to send the objects that are in point five dash to the point eight dash. So I can lock my, um, not my dash, but my, my solid, or actually even turn them off. And I can right click, select, double click, select, and then right here I can change its layer to the P5 dash. And uh, right here to the P5 dash, except sorry to the P8 dash. Except that's something that there's something that I forgot to do, right? So I created the, the layer P8 dash, but I didn't want. I didn't set up the line type. Right? So I have to just go back, set it to hidden, and there it is. Okay. And um, I can then turn back this on. Okay, so it looks a little bit more like the drawing that I have in mind, and um, even better. Um, and like I said, I think we can. Um, I don't know if we need to delete it, but I'm gonna move this drawing out of out of our site right here, because um, we're gonna keep working with this drawing right here. So I'm gonna double click right here, recenter it. But I would like to at least be able to enclose this right here. I kind of like do at least this this outline with my dash. Okay, so we can edit that real quick. Um, but before that, I also would like to change the line weight of the uh, of the aggregate model. Um, let's say I'm gonna lock my or turn off my dash eight. I'm going to select all of this right here. And that is under what layer? What's going on? Is there dash? Am I not able to? Huh. Is that why I need it? Oh, whoops. Sorry, class. Let's see what's going on. I can't. I can't. Uh, I can select that. I can select anything and everything but this. Oh, I was in a command. Okay. Um, okay. Huh. I guess so. All right. So dash, turn it off, double click right here. Um, and then um, I'm going to bring this to a point 0.5, point 0.3, I'm sorry, something thinner. Change object layer right there. And I think I forgot to select that one. And I'm realizing actually that I somehow deleted a line here. Let's just type it or draw it. And that should be um, that point three. So all of this should be on that point three. Right. And I can then turn back on my um, dash. And then I'm actually going to select my dash right here. I'm going to select that dot, bring it right there. Um, and I'm going to select this other dot right here, bring it over here, and this other dot, bring it over here, so that I can create the full cube, or at least what it's the the bounding of that cube. And I'm just going to have to create a new line right here, and I got to select that line and, and change its layer onto the uh, P5.8 dash. 
So I'll do that. P5.8 dash. Okay. Oops. Messed up my scale, I think. So I'll select that. And that's one to one. Okay. Good. So you see right here how we have um, this um, this this object, uh, which which uh, denotes our um, bounding area and um, our our aggregated models in there. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and. Um, now go back to our parallel. Let's go ahead and um, work with our different. So we're doing the one where it was aggregate like this. Now let's do the one that it's um, merge, integrate as a single piece. So set our view, uh, isometric southeast, zoom selected, type make 2D. Click OK. And let's bring this somewhere over here. And you see the difference. I'm still thrown up by this right here. No, let's delete it. OK. Um, if I go to my top view, you can see the, the difference. You can see um, um, that this is that it doesn't have these lines right here. All of the faces are merged. Um, but hold on, I just to realize. Let's go ahead and do that with uh, with the cube. So I'm just gonna take copy, uh, enter, copy from there to there. One more time. Um, select it. Set your view. Isometric southeast. Zoom selected right there and um, select make to the enter click OK zoom out bring that drawing back over here and uh, we'll keep working with with this drawing okay so let's go ahead and uh, meet back um, on this point right here you have a make to the of the merge model so you can uh, assign uh, line weights and line types as we did with the with the uh, aggregated model. 